today I'm back with a Halloween tutorial. This is my first Halloween tutorial here on YouTube and it was really fun making this because it's super easy. It's with stuff you have at your house and yeah, Halloween is right around the corner and this is a quick, simple, easy uh, makeup look. So if you guys wanna know how to get this Mad Hatter Halloween makeup look, just keep on watching. The first thing I am going to do is I already moisturized my skin and now I'm going to go in with the Dermalogica Hydro Blur uh, Primer. When you're doing Halloween makeup, it's important that you protect the skin because you are going to have a lot of crazy like glitter and whatever else you're putting on your skin um, during these crazy makeup. So it's always good to prep the skin by priming it. So I'm just going to be applying that. I'm gonna just spray my face with a little fix plus just to get it hydrated. I'm gonna kind of go off of like this picture for reference and then also this picture. We're gonna do it with the products we got right here. Okay, so I found this Maybelline Master Concealer. If you have any like white old concealer, you can use that. So I'm just going to apply that on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to be taking MAC Masters 1.0 um, foundation. Just use any lighter foundation, anything that's really light. It doesn't have to be white. It just has to not match your neck. So I'm going to be mixing that in with that concealer. And then I'm just going to be applying that all over my skin. You want to get it as wide as you can. He is very pale. I, I think he really does have white face paint on him. But we ain't got time for that. I just think this is a simple like Halloween makeup. I had to do this for work and it was I got it done in like less than an hour. So, I thought that this would be a good one to show you guys, since Halloween is right around the corner. I have this concealer palette by MAC. I'm just going to take the lightest colors and just use that as my concealer. And also, put that all over my face as well, just to give it a little bit more coverage. want to set the face with a white powder, a white translucent powder. This one is the Invisible Powder by MAC. I'm just going to be setting my face with this powder. And I'm going to be using a beauty blender for this because I really want to push in the product to the skin just so it makes it a little bit more of a whiter appearance. I'm also going to almost bake my whole face and kind of leave that powder on there for a little while do it just so it can kind of set the makeup and make it look lighter now if you don't have any white powder like this you can also use a white eyeshadow so for the brows i'm going to be taking max fascinating eye coal and i'm just going to coat the brows in this eyeliner just so it has a base for the orange eyeshadow to stick on. It's also going to make the eyeshadow pop a lot more. So it's going to look something like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect because his eyebrows are crazy. So after that is done, I'm, we're going to just dust off that powder. I'm not going to keep it on there for long. And you can kind of just press in the powder also. Now we're just going to take an angled brush and this orange shadow and I'm going to use this to fill in my brows. And I kind of like wing that outer brow out. And right in the front, you're going to want to kind of 
push up and make little fake hairs going up just like this. So the brow should look something like this. Okay, so now that we got the brows on, I still am gonna carve them out just to give them more of an elongated brow look. So I'm gonna be taking the concealer palette we used and just picking up that lightest shade. I'm just gonna go right underneath the brow. And then flick it out. And then pull that concealer down and we can use that as a base for the eyeshadows so we have the brows on now now we're just going to move on right into the eyes i'm going to start by picking up max electric eel eyeshadow on just a 224 blending brush by mac and you're just going to want to put that right in the crease and it does not have to be perfect but what i am going to do is i'm going to just start kind of blowing it out And you want this color to almost touch the front of your brow right here. And then just blow it out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get right into the glitter. I'm going to be taking this a Sally's Girl gl Green Glitter from Sally's Beauty Supply. And I'm just going to be applying that right onto the lid. How I apply my glitter is I use Duo Eyelash Glue. This is if you don't have any glitter glue or anything like that, this works just fine. Just be very careful when you're using it. I'm just going to be taking any flat brush and I'm gonna just grab some of that glue and apply it right onto the lid. And then I'm just gonna pick up the glitter and I get a heaping scoop of the glitter and just apply that right onto the eyelid. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that glue. And I'm gonna go back in with the glitter. And that's what it should look like there. And it's gonna fall on your face a little bit, but that's all right, because the more glitter, the better. I'm gonna be taking this pigment by MAC. It's called uh, Fuchsia. This is one of my favorite pink pigments. It's super bright, and it's the perfect color for this look. I'm just going to be applying that right on the inner corner of the eye. You can see how pigmented that is. And I'm just gonna be buffing that right into where I put the blue down you want it to kind of fade in with that blue you put down and that's going to create a purple a purple effect Also, you're just gonna sweep it down right here. Underneath the eye. And then you can kind of take any fluffy brush and just kind of blend. Now I'm going to be taking, this is called Saucy Miss by MAC. It's one of their eyeshadow blush. Be applying that right here on the outer corner. Kind of blending that in with the blue. All right, now I'm gonna be taking that orange shadow we use for the brow, and I'm just gonna be applying that right underneath the eye, bringing it really far down. After that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my concealer brush and I'm kind of, and I'm just gonna create 
create like a space in between where I put that orange and then the purple and blue color. Gonna take the concealer. This is kind of like the editorial matte. And I'm just gonna be taking um, any big fluffy brush and just kind of blending that out. So the eyes are basically finished. I'm just going to be adding NYX's white liquid liner right on the top of the lash line. Nothing has to be perfect. He does kind of look a little crusty in the movie. So, I'm like, if the liner's looking crusty, girl, it's all right. I'm just going to be applying this wet eyeliner right on the lashes. I'm going to be taking Max Fascinating Eye Coal again and just applying that right into the waterline. Okay, now I'm gonna take the white eyeliner again and just apply that right below the lash line and then also on the bottom lashes. Okay. Now we're gonna do some contouring to the face. I'm gonna take that same brush I used for the pink um, eyeshadow and I'm gonna be taking just any pink, like a darker pink eyeshadow like this and applying that right in the socket of the cheekbone. And then bringing it down a little bit. This is gonna, okay dad. So if you go like this, you'll see where to put the line. Just do the nose, the sides of the nose. So now I'm just gonna be taking the same orange shadow and with a fluffy brush and just going to be buffing that contour out a little bit. Any bright pink lipstick will work. And he has a smaller top lip, so I'm just I'm not gonna go all the way up. But I am going to make sure it's all the way out to the corners of my lip. Now, we have the lipstick on and for the last touch, I'm just going to add a little bit of a black eyeliner right in the middle of my teeth. To talk. I'm just going to be spraying my face with some Fix Plus. This looks pretty damn good. I'm not as white as him, but we made it work. So basically for the hair, all you have to do is wake up and have some crazy hair. I don't have a wig or anything like that. But what I am going to do, I'm going to pull my hair up like this and... Put it in a bun like this. And then flip my hair like this around. You want it just to look like really crazy. Right? I'm gonna take this Conair curling iron
Because right here, you want to make sure these are really coiled. So they kind of stick out a little bit. All right. So after your hair looks super crazy, I'm just going to be taking my hairspray. And just making it more crazy. We're going to add the hat. All right, and that is it. That is the final look, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and happy Halloween. Bye, guys.